I am a woman and I am transgender, but I am not a crossdresser, and you need to learn the difference. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed the last video where I did the thrift haul and I showed off this new jean jacket I got. Um, if you didn't see that, go ahead and click it in the cards up here. Um, but speaking of clothes, today I'd like to talk about a common misconception that I've seen people have a lot. Um, on my channel like in comments and such it's been really kind of bothersome to me and that's people thinking that I'm a cross-dresser I'm not a cross-dresser I'm a woman and I also happen to be transgender and I would like to explore this misconception um, and present some ideas as to why I think that people have like sort of limited understanding in this area um, and just like define things, like lay out clearly like what is um, cross-dressing and what does it mean to be transgender um, and just hopefully like clarify some of those things for you guys. Um, but yeah, I am not a cross-dresser. Let me make that very clear. I can see in um, like my YouTube analytics thing the other videos that people watch, like after they watch my videos and before, like just what, I, what my viewers are also watching and it's like boy to girl like sexy crossdresser compilation number 35 and it's like do not associate me with that that is not me okay <laughs> i'm not sexy crossdresser boy to girl transformation i'm a woman okay so let me let me just clarify how this works for you all um so i'll go ahead and lay out some definitions to be transgender means that your personal sense of gender identity does not align with your assigned gender at birth. And to cross-dress, um, cross-dressing is the act of wearing clothing which is not typically associated with one's, um, with one's gender. Um, so they're not the same. The big difference there is that transgender identity is just that. It's an identity. It's like a part of who you are and it's like it's permanent I want to say that it's like static or unchanging because there are gender fluid people who like experience gender like experience their gender to change over time but it is like it is a part of who you are as a person as opposed to just a thing that you do Additionally, transgender people will often do things to affirm and express their gender identity. Um, typically, we will socially transition, start going by a new name, have like a new presentation, like a new appearance with new clothes, not cross-dressing because it's the, like the clothes of the gender that we are. Like I transitioned to a woman, so now I wear women's clothes mostly. But anyway, we do certain things like change our name and appearance as well as sometimes undergo medical changes to like physiologically um, make our body have like secondary sex characteristics that, that are associated with the gender that we identify as um, but also none of those things are a given and inherent to being trans there are trans people who will neither socially transition nor medically transition or maybe do one or the other being trans is a broad spectrum and a large umbrella um, but these are things that typically transgender people will do to express their gender and to feel more comfortable with themselves and to affirm their gender identity as opposed to just a thing that you do um, which is what cross-dressing is. Cross-dressing is just an activity. It is simply the activity of wearing clothing opposite your assigned gender, er, um, not your assigned gender, sorry. Um, opposite your gender. And so me as a woman wearing women's clothing, I know I've got kind of an androgynous look right now, but this is like technically a women's t-shirt and women's denim jacket, although it's pretty androgynous and doesn't really matter. But let's just say for the sake of argument, these are all women's clothes. Um, they are my clothes and I am a woman. So me wearing women's clothing is not cross-dressing because I am a woman and I am wearing women's clothing, not cross-dressing. Okay, um, so cross-dressing is like, it's in its simplest terms, it's just that what I described, um, it's wearing clothing which is distinct from your gender, but people have like more specific conceptions of it. Um, so it can be like as simple as 
being in a play and like playing a character whose gender differs from your own, so you wear um, clothing of a gender that differs from your own. Or drag is another good example. It's a specific kind of cross-dressing um, where it's like a performance art. Like you're performing gender like in an exaggerated way as a performance. Um, and typically you would, um, you would perform drag using clothing and like gendered presentation and aesthetics from the gender opposite your own, but that doesn't have to be the case. Um, but the most common idea that people have, especially to set people about cross-dressing, is that it is men wearing women's clothing for sexual gratification, which is a common um, example of cross-dressing. And again, that's, I feel like, what's most typically associated with the term cross-dressing. But I would just like to make it known that cross-dressing is broader than that. But also, men wearing women's clothing for sexual gratification is completely, 100%, entirely different from transgender identity. Let me make that so clear to you right now. I'm not getting off by wearing women's clothing. Like, this is just, this is just me. This is just how I like to express myself. And that is the case for transgender people, generally. It's not a sexual thing. It's not like, um, I don't know. It's not something that you just do for fun, although it can be like, it is fun to like go shopping for clothes and like have like a style and everything, but that's just a normal thing. Everybody likes that. And these are just the clothes that I like to wear. And I'm a woman and I wear women's clothes, so that should make sense. It's not a sexual thing. And I'm still a woman, even when I take off these clothes. I'd be a woman no matter what kind of clothes I'm wearing, what, whether or not I'm wearing makeup, how I present myself. Again, I'm like, uh, I've got a pretty androgynous look on today with like the denim jacket and everything. So I'm still a woman, even though I'm not wearing like the most feminine outfit. So I hope that we've cleared that up. Um, so like I said, people tend to get confused about cross-dressing in trans women and specifically cross-dressing in the sense of men dressing in women's clothes for sexual gratification. And this gets into like a really sticky, um, kind of not so nice uh, subject where trans women are often fetishized and like seen as like sexual objects a lot. Women generally are seen as like sex sexual objects, you know, objectified, not completely respected all the time. Can we agree on that? Um, and trans women, um, you know, they don't, they don't get off the hook for that. Like, trans women get objectified and fetishized a lot. Um, so there's these things, there are these people called chasers who specifically fetishize trans women and, like, only want to, like, they specifically seek out trans women, um, to have sex with or have, like, romantic encounters with because they are, like, fetishizing trans women's bodies and they just are interested in people because they're trans. Um, that's distinct from trans people who seek out other trans people for romantic and sexual experiences because, you know, as trans people we understand each other and it can be nice to, like, have an intimate partner that understands you, um, and understands what it means to be trans. So we refer to that as T for T, trans for trans. That's distinct from being a chaser. Um, but yeah, chasers suck. Don't be a chaser. And like I said, people will associate cross-dressers with trans women, and it's just not the same thing. And when you do that, it's a form of fetish fetishization. Like, I'm not, like, sexy boy to girl, like, hot, like, transformation. Like, I'm just a girl, okay? Like, don't be weird about it. Don't, like, objectify me or whatever. I'm just a girl. I'm not doing, like, some sort of, like, weird, deviant sexual behavior just by being me and by wearing my clothes. That's not what's happening here, okay? That's like all in your head. That's like something that you've constructed. And honestly, it's pretty messed up and pretty gross. So don't do that. If you are somebody that has come to my channel um, just because you want to like see like, like sexy boy to girl, like transformation, any of that stuff, please leave. I'm not here for your... I mean, I know that I'm hot and I, and I know that I'm trying to entertain you guys, but I'm not here to, like, display myself sexually. Um, although, let me get into now the final point that I wanted to cover, though, which is I think that there are a lot of people who aren't, or maybe, 
maybe sexualizing trans identity and maybe fetishizing it, but more so, it, what they're primarily doing, and I'm not saying this is what all like chasers and fetishists are doing, a lot of those people are just like straight up disrespectful and like objectifying women, trans women specifically, but I think that there are also a lot of people that are interested in what they understand as cross-dressing, um, and they don't have like a clear distinction of trans identity and cross-dressing in their mind, because they might be like a little bit older, or they don't have like as holistic an understanding of gender, sexuality, queer identity, gender non-conforming identity, and really cross-dressing is a specific way of labeling gender non-conforming presentation in general. Like, to be gender non-conforming is exactly what it sounds like, to like not conform to, um, to um, like gender roles and like expected aesthetic ideas of one gender or another, like be it your assigned gender or your like actual gender, anything like that. Like you're just not conforming with it. You're in fact you're actively um, going against the grain in that sense. And so cross dressing is a specific form of that where you are wearing clothing and putting on a gender performance and presentation which is contrary to your gender. So it's a form of gender non conforming presentation. And I think that a lot of people, like, might be queer, or um, they might be trans, and or they might be non-binary, or they just are not, like, their identity, their personal sense of gender identity is not completely gender non-conforming, and they don't have, like, a robust understanding of, like, how to express and experiment with that and, like, affirm that part of themselves. And so the, the best they can manage is to cross-dress. Like, if I'm like, if I'm like a 50-year-old man who is presumably cis, and I think, well, I kind of don't feel exactly like a man all the time, and I'm kind of like interested in some more feminine things, and I don't think I'm gay. Like, I've never really been, had like a strong desire to like sleep with other men, but I feel like some sort of like, I feel some sort of desire to like express myself in a more feminine way. If your upbringing in like understanding of like the world and gender has only allowed you to see like a few expressions of what people who don't feel completely aligned with their gender are, then you're going to follow what you know. And so like this 50 year old cis man who like feels some inclinations towards femininity might decide to try what he understands to be cross dressing by um like buying feminine clothes and like wearing them around the house or maybe even out in public and he's like oh i'm like i'm temporarily a woman or like i'm a part-time woman or to be honest i'm not exactly sure how they understand it because you know that's not me i'm not like a i'm not like a man trying to dress up as a woman for like kicks or whatever um, but I guess that's exactly my point, is that I think that there's a lot of people who get into cross-dressing that aren't even explicitly doing it for, like, sexual gratification, whereas a lot of people are, but, like, they might not be doing it explicitly for sexual gratification. They might be doing it to, like, explore their gender identity and, like, affirm their gender identity, even if they, like, wouldn't have the words to describe that completely. And they might, like, conflate it with, like, sexual interest, or maybe even they're both present. I mean... Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, there, there's like a whole thing about autogonophilia, and I think that you should watch ContraPoints' video for that to understand it better, but I didn't, tra <laughs> excuse me, I didn't transition just because I wanted to look at myself in the mirror and think that I'm a hot girl, but I'm not gonna lie, I do think that I'm a hot girl. I think that I'm hot, like, I like myself, and I like myself better as a girl than I did as a guy, and I think that I'm more attractive as a girl than I was as a guy, and that's cool. Like. I do think that I'm hot, and I'm proud of that. Like, I'm proud that I, like, I'm proud of my appearance, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, and so I think that there are people that don't have a, as a robust understanding of gender identity that would recognize that they are proud of their appearance, and they, like, think that they're hot when they're, like, experimenting with their gender presentation, and maybe that's, that's sitting next to, like, some latent... Um, issues with like their gender identity over like in a broader sense but they don't have like the um, 
they don't have like the tools to delineate those things and they just associate themselves with this idea of just like cross-dressing just for sexual gratification. Um, I hope that I explained that all right. Let's see, did I cover everything that I wanted to? I guess the last thing that I'll say is um, that I've been like trying to use like not, okay, that's not even true. I was gonna say that I was gonna use like not like hyper-specific like terminology to describe this to make it more accessible for people that don't know the terminology. I feel like I did use like a lot of terminology, but I tried my best to explain it. But really what I'm getting into here is ideas of non-binary gender identities and gender fluid gender identities. And specifically, I think that a lot of people who are into cross-dressing just like, I don't know, just for whatever reason, like, like what I was describing just now, like they don't even know exactly why they're into it, but they're into cross-dressing. I think a lot of them could be described as gender fluid. Like you want to express yourself as um, one gender sometimes and another gender some other times, maybe no gender, maybe both of them, and it changes over time and you like experimenting with that and you like having different presentations at different times. I'm not an expert on gender fluidity, but that's my understanding of it. And I feel like that really aligns with my understanding of like what a lot of like people who like to cross dress do. So I'm not gonna like tell you that your understanding of like language and the terms you use for yourself is bad. I'm not gonna tell you not to call yourself a cross dresser, but I would encourage you to like look into, I don't know, I really think that cross dresser is kind of like an outdated term similar to like transsexual, transvestite, anything like that. We have a newer terminology and I know that like some older people like identify with the term transsexual and there are people that obviously identify with the term cross dresser, but I just think in 2021, there are like a more robust set of um, terms that we can use to express gender and sexuality. And, and if you are somebody that identifies as a cross-dresser, I would encourage you to look into like some more modern understandings of like queer um, like sexuality and like gender identity. And maybe, maybe read about terms like non-binary and gender fluid. Because honestly, cross-dresser has kind of like it's kind of icky. Um, again, I don't want to like put you down too much for it, but there's definitely like associations of like fetishism with like trans women, and it's just not a good luck in my opinion. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, I think that about covers everything that I wanted to say. Let me just reiterate: don't call me a crossdresser. I'm not a crossdresser. I'm a woman. I wear my clothes, which happen to be women's clothes most of the time. Sometimes they're not women's clothes, but anyway, I'm a woman and I wear my clothes and I'm not a sexual performer. I'm not a sex worker. So don't come here looking for that, please. <clears throat> okay, yep, that about covers everything. 17 minutes, not a bad video length. I hope you guys like this one. I hope the algorithm picks it up because it has cross-dresser in it and I know that they like cross-dresser. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you learned something from this, um, please share with me down in the comments uh, that you learned something or like what you think overall because I am kind of actually curious what people have to say about this topic. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!